World of Dentistry. Dental solutions for your dental needs. Lichen planus. Welcome to another video. There are oral diseases that affect the body. On this occasion, we will talk about one in particular that affects the skin and mucous membranes of such as the mouth. This disease is known as lichen planus. Lichen planus is an inflammation that affects various parts of the body. This disease can cause inflammation, swelling and irritation on the skin and mucous membranes. Lichen planus is an autoimmune disease of unknown origin that causes skin eruptions affecting the hands, legs, arms, back, scalp, nails, genital area, and inside the mouth. In general, women are the most affected compared to men. The average age at which lichen planus can occur is between 30 and 60 years. It is not very common in children, and although it is not considered to have a racial preference, it has been shown to occur more frequently in the African-American, Indian, and Arab population. Some factors cause lichen planus to manifest. Hepatitis C, this disease is caused by a virus that attacks the liver. Medications, Medications indicated for the treatment of blood pressure, such as diuretics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, diabetes, coronary diseases, and malaria could manifest or exacerbate it. Chemicals, metals, or pigments. In the mouth, a metal filling. Filling can be the cause, although it happens rarely and replacing it does not eliminate the condition. Familial bullous lichen planus. This rare type of lichen planus only occurs in families that genetically carry this condition. The signs and symptoms of lichen planus vary depending upon the area of the body affected. It can range from a small red dot, as small as the tip of a pin, to large rashes or sores, which can grow up to 1 cm in size. The symptoms of each region where it usually appears include the following. Lesions in the mouth they can be sensitive or painful, it is possible that there will be no pain in mild cases. They are located on the sides of the tongue or inside cheeks or gums. Look like bluish-white pimples or spots. Form lace-like lines. Gradually increase in size. Sometimes form painful sores. Skin lesions. Usually found on the inner areas of the wrist, legs, torso, or genitals. Very itchy have both sides even, symmetrical, and thin borders, occur as a single lesion or group of lesions, often in the site of skin injury, may be covered with fine white lines or linear scratch marks, are shiny or scaly in appearance, are deep purple in color, may form blisters or ulcers. Other symptoms of lichen planus are dry mouth, hair loss, metallic taste in the mouth, Ridges or ridges on the nails, like dry skin. Lichen planus, as an autoimmune disease, does not have a direct treatment to cure it or reverse the symptoms. Therefore, doctors and dentists usually treat the symptoms while the disease resolves on its own within a period of no more than two years. Some treatments to manage your symptoms. Corticosteroids. Your doctor may prescribe corticosteroid creams or ointments to decrease the inflammation. Antihistamines. These drugs are indicated to treat symptoms caused by allergies, such as itching or burning of the skin. Phototherapy. Phototherapy using ultraviolet B, UVB, light with specialized equipment and directed by a dermatologist will help with symptoms. Immunosuppressants. These drugs are aimed at decreasing the response of the active immune system. Mycophenolate oral corticosteroids, methotrexate, azathioprine or cyclosporin, are part of this group that work as a treatment, helping to reduce symptoms. Retinoids vitamin A derivatives, when lichen planus does not respond to corticosteroids or phototherapy, orally administered retinoids may be prescribed. It is recommended to consult with your doctor first since under no circumstances should you become pregnant since it is possible that retinoids can cause congenital problems.
In addition, the doctor must consider another type of treatment to avoid risk for lactating mothers. Oral anti-infective drugs. Some anti-infective drugs, such as hydroxychloroquine used as an antimalarial, or dapsone, and metronidazole as an antimicrobial may be indicated for symptom management, according to medical prescription. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.